Oh, I remember this part. Something bad happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cake. Who? Oh, bug lady? Looks like there's something on the other side. Too bad Drax is out of it. I'm sure he'd love to punch a giant face. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> oh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. to be. I see something, but it's foggy. in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore. I fly with my little eye. What else did the Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Hey, Groot, buddy. Think you could lift this? <laughs> right about there. See that, there. Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. Nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bar hole shut. I see something, but it's foggy. I spy with my little eye. in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? At least the crystals are kind of pretty. Eh, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, star guy. Me too. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, star guy. But only until it isn't. Found another way. 
Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. Bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm good. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Oh, there's that feeling again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little Fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. Galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little Fuzzy. At least, not in this version. We're recovering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? If you want to stop Rooker... Raker. Right, Router. This is the only way. The face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what. You get us through here, Gamora. Flark, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Well, Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, 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 do... I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you Let's already did. Let's just hear out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? If the whole place collapses... Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? <laughs> Little Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Did she or did she not? Rocket, go! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep!
close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you! Max! It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Survey! Are you Spartan? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! <gasps> I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Couldn't <laughs> agree with you more! Go. End them all! You couldn't have warned us that Shatari were hiding out in this cave? They are at all, eh? I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes. What I don't get is why they be here. Feel free to ask them. Man, what is this, like the worst timeline? Lost another one. Slice and dice. Sure is a lot of life in this ancient cave. Be a lot of that when I'm done with it. Load up. With our luck, Hellbender's goons are on the other side, just waiting to jump us! Payback from Hellbender is literally the last thing we need right now! Ha! Called it! You saying that I told you so, you were not being shot at? Told you these guys go ahead and let bygones be bygones? Hey! At least they didn't bring an army! Can you imagine? Man, I hated those things. You were saying? Just had you take up, didn't you? Hey, anyone notice if this happens to be the monster I said? I suppose you want credit for that, too? Last time someone got stabbed. Yeah, tell him, Quill. Jelly's on the offensive. <laughs> Splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. These guys are goofballs. They're trying to distract us. Throw us off our game. Well, I don't know about you, but I've had it with their tricks. Enough already. Who's with me? 
Here can't we go. Believe I'm missing Thanos right now. Sharp, pointy chest coming your way. One down, a whole army to go. It's like the fog is following us. We're talking about a gas. What's next, Peter? Come on, cut him down! Fight noble weirdos too! Ah, uh, that would be worse! Oh, come on! Mantis says the cure for the promise is here! It makes sense for the church to not want anyone to find it! This has got my name on it! Well, I got all these toys I'm just dying to use! If anything else comes out of this fog, I quit! Can't quit. It's in your contract. Okay, this is officially too weird. You haven't even seen weird, Star Guy. Blow the way, Rocket. Keep better after all the trouble we went to. Man, what else can this place possibly go on us? I would rather not find out. For once, I agree with Rocket. Uh. At least we know we're on the right track. So far, that we are. That's all we have. Killing loopy cops now. Music to my ears. Get ready. Does anyone not hate us? We do tend to bring it out, people. <laughs> Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attacks felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's something down here that's affecting my vision. Don't think it was ever that clear to begin with. How far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make a man squirrel. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language.
sake of fighting! Don't forget! We'll need to get out of this cave, too! I'm ready! Just find me an opening! Well, that went about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Oh, I remember the story! Lysa once spent 40 revolutions by the cave entrance, all by himself. Except for, you know, the Kotani, but they're not known for their conversation. What for? I think it was because he didn't care for his house guests, but didn't want to be rude and tell them to leave. make no sense. What doesn't? How come everything attacking us don't attack each other? down here once we cure Drax maybe we could capture a couple what the flark for don't know maybe give them to hellbender as a peace offering If there's sunlight, does that mean there are holes on the surface that lead all the way down here? Maybe that's it. All these jerks who keep attacking us fell in and got stuck. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Bug lady, exactly how many times you've seen us die horribly? Oh, it's too sad to count. I always have to stop around 50. Great, that's 10 apiece. Oh, no, 50,000, little fuzzy. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. And we ain't got much choice. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. I 
I think this is one of them smart plants. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. That's one big beanstalk. The almighty Star Lord. Say something? God, nope. Who's I? Who's I? realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking. Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for a bad thing to hypothetically speaking! Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. One of them smart plants. That. It was working for a sec. I just need to reload faster. Anyone else suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about the death? Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the the equivalent of Jack the Giant Beanstalk. Interested. All right, I'm on it. Let's try this again, Gamora.
this. Any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking. Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me, hypothetically speaking. Oh, no, but sometimes you die trying to get out. None of their business. I am cool. What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. That's why they call me Star Lord. Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tiny goals. It's not that. I just want some help up here. I am good. All right, he'll do it. So this Jack Beanstalk guy, is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which, obviously, he climbs. I... He don't know where to get magic beans, you big galoot. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Taking so long. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, eh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. 
Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> Okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Fucking visor! It ain't a flashlight, Quill. Remember back in the dark in the quarantine zone? I think that was some funky energy thing. Funky energy in the dark. Groot's bioluminescence ain't exactly on the defined light spectrum. I can hear you! Even better! Anything shiny, we split it. Hey, Gamora, remember that sleepover we had? I miss that. Staying up all night, talking, getting a little tipsy. That wasn't a sleepover. We were roughing it in the mountains while being stalked. Still, that was a fun night. I mean, the cactus juice did have unexpected but fun side effects. nickname for Gamora. Oh, I did, Little Fuzzy. But she said if I called her that again, she'd stab me. I don't like getting stabbed. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. Seems less dark through here. 
And less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to... Shh. I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Shh. What do you mean, shh? It's your guy's right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yeah. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. hear that? No, what is it? Rushing water. Lots of it. Oh, and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher. energies will realign and a new series of possibilities will emerge. That sounds confusing. Definitely. Just like that! In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, 
This is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. Uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Will. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches! Splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But if we're too excited, this love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Bring it on! Cut him down! Bobby has got sloppy footwork! 
I think that means you have sloppy footwork! Hold up, Rocky!
Rocket, you can do this! You can, right, Mantis? Mantis! <laughs> Mantis, why did it work? You have to finish the job! Where's Rocket? Oh, finish the job, Starlight! <laughs> For all of it, we'll spin for nothing! <laughs> it's all up to you now, Starlight! Finish it off! Please, before it's too late! for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch more. Rocket, man. Yeah, yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. Exactly. We can trust her. That's not always true, but this time? Yes. I think I'm one of the good ones. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. 
uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker, not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Oh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th 